Are you looking for Zillow San Pedro? Here are three things to know before you reach out on a home for sale listing with Zillow. Number one, Zestimates. Those are the estimates on Zillow that populate naturally and organically in their software giving you a number or the home you're looking at. But when you go read the fine print, it says that that value can be as much as 20% off. That wasn't as big a deal when we were selling homes during the recession that were at half their value. So instead of six or 700,000 down in the 300s, that's only about a $60,000 range. But now when homes are getting up in the millions, that can be a range of over $400,000 that their estimate is off. So don't take that estimate as the Bible of what it's worth. How can you get an estimate of value that's closer in line with what the real range of value is? Get a comparative market analysis using the actual listings that an appraiser would use, and the real estate broker that you use should know how to do that. And then that will give you a range of value that you can compare to your home or the home you're looking at possibly purchasing to compare the amenities of that home to what the market says homes like that are worth. Number two, transparency or the truth. When Zillow started as a marketing tool, it promised that it would never become a real estate brokerage. Fast forward now several years and Zillow is a real estate brokerage licensed in the state of California and elsewhere. And now we're hearing of Zillow making offers for homes that are way above market value, which other buyers are doing as well. But when Zillow is getting into escrow, they're putting the seller's feet to the fire to reduce the price that they had agreed upon after they do some investigations. How does this make you feel as a buyer? If you have a comment, I'd like to see you drop it down there in the comments and maybe we could get a discussion going. Number three, stale listings. The listings on Zillow, sometimes we get phone calls from people who are saying, oh, I'm so interested in this house and we go look it up and it hasn't been on the market for a very long time. And yet Zillow shows it as an active listing. It happens pretty often and over the years, often enough to make us think that Zillow is doing that to bring people to the site, have them look around and become leads for the real estate people that they're selling out those leads to but not so much to be fully transparent and honest with the people using the site as to what the true facts are and whether these homes are available. It's wasting everybody's time and there's something shady about it. If San Pedro interests you, you can see a link above to the worst things about San Pedro, the pros and cons that I did some time back. I hope it helps you.